For this tutorial, we're going to look at some examples involving the order of operations. Let's take a look at the first example. Here we have the expression 3 times 12 plus 4 divided by 2. Now normally with the order of operations, we would do parentheses first, which we don't have any, and then exponents, which we don't have any of those either. But then after that, we would do multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. So to start off, going from left to right, we'll start with the multiplication of 3 times 12, and then do the 4 divided by 2. And after those operations have been done, then we could finally do our addition, which would be 36 plus 2, giving us a value of 38. Now as far as the calculator goes, the calculator knows the order of operations, and it will do them. So we could just type this in exactly how we see it. 3 times 12 plus 4 divided by 2. And it will do all the operations in the correct order. So when we hit enter, we also get 38 on the calculator. Now let's take a look at another example. So here we have 3 minus 2 times the quantity 7 plus 4. Now when evaluating this on a calculator, there are a couple very common mistakes that occur. The first one is this. Rather than using the parentheses, someone will just type in 3 minus 2 times 7 plus 4. Well the thing is, with the order of operations, the negative 2 and the 7 will be the only two numbers being multiplied. But since in our original expression there's a parentheses involved, the 4 needs to be multiplied as well to that negative 2. So if you leave out the parentheses, you will not get a correct answer. So here the negative 7 is an answer that we do not want. Now there's another common mistake that occurs as well. Sometimes one would be inclined to first do the 3 minus 2 to get an answer of 1. And then after that, they'll multiply by the 7 plus 4 in the parentheses. Well the problem with that is that it's the same thing as doing the quantity 3 minus 2 times the quantity 7 plus 4, which is not the same thing as our original expression for example 2. And as we could see, it gives us a false answer of 11. So how would we do this one correctly? Well, this expression isn't anything too complex. We can actually just type it in exactly how we see it. So if we do 3 minus 2 and then parentheses 7 plus 4, the calculator will do the correct order of operations, giving us the correct answer, that being negative 19. Now let's move on to another example. This time we have 12 times 3 divided by 2 plus 4. Now for this one you also have to be careful when putting it into the calculator. Now the problem with the evaluating the expression this way is that it will first do 12 times 3 which is 36, but then after that it will only divide by the 2 and then add the 4 afterwards. And when we put that in the calculator it will ultimately give us a value of 22, and that is not what we want. So instead, let's change this slightly. Let's put the 2 plus 4 in parentheses first, so that it will do that addition before doing the division. Now when we put it in the calculator that way, it's the same thing as doing the 12 times 3 first, and then dividing by the quantity 2 plus 4, which is 6, which is exactly what we want to happen. So when we type that in, we'll do 12 times 3 divided by parentheses 2 plus 4, giving us a value of 6, which is the same exact thing as 36 divided by 6. Now let's take a look at just one more example. So here we have 1520 times the quantity 1 plus 0 0.05 over 12, all raised to the 12 times 30. 
Well, when we see an expression like this, we tend to want to put it in the calculator exactly how we see it, which would look something like this. Now the problem with that is that our quantity in the parentheses here will only get raised to the 12 and not to the 30. So instead of raising it to the 12 times 30, it'll just raise this parentheses to the 12 and then afterwards multiply the result by 30, giving us an incorrect answer. So this approach doesn't work. So rather than keeping the 12 and the 30 separate, let's keep them together in the exponent, just like with our example 4. The 12 times 30 need to be together, so when we input that into our calculator, we need to find a way to keep the 12 times 30 together in the exponent. So to do that, we could put them in parentheses. So now when we put it in our calculator, it'll keep the 12 times 30 together in the exponent, giving us the correct answer. So remember, when you're doing the order of operations on the calculator, the calculator knows the order of operations, but you do need to specify when certain things need to stay together or not. And you can do that by putting groups of numbers that need to stay together in parentheses and then the calculator will do the operations correctly for you.